got up here is another, what's that term we're using? What's the kind of artwork that we're creating right now? Collage. Collage, right. I like to talk about it in the terms of mixed media because we're not just using paper, we're using, what other materials are we using? We're using paints, we're using crayons, and there are three terms that we're dealing with when we're dealing with paint and the crayons. One of them is frotage. What does frotage mean? Oh, so close. That's grattage. Grattage is where you paint an area and you scrape into it with your brush or a comb or your fingertips or whatever. Frotage, think crayons. Right, right. You're mixing. Well, you can blend colors, but you're doing that rubbing on the wall. Right, Rachel? <laughs> right. Exactly. And then tell me, Rachel, what's decalcomania? Uh, it's where you... I don't know. I know the other two guys. Okay. Well? Right. So I don't think Rachel heard that, though, because Tom is talking and distracting Ms. Fiorita. Say that again louder, please. artist named Joseph Cornell. He was from the early 1900s and associated with artists called the Surrealists. Take a minute with your neighbor. What are the similarities and what are the differences between the collage work by Cornell and the collage work by Bearden and even by the stuff that you guys are talking about and making? Have a conversation real quick. One minute, tops. <laughs> Okay, you guys are doing a nice job. What I'd like you to do is, for the moment, 
Time are we out? Ten after? I want you to take one minute. Stop what you're doing. And with one of your neighbors, I want you to talk about what you've accomplished. Probably not the kids sitting next to you, because you've probably been talking the whole time. But find somebody you haven't talked to about your plush. Drag them over to see yours. Talk about yours. Then be dragged over to see theirs and talk about theirs. Take 30 seconds to a minute to have this conversation. The thing is, I'm going to be listening for your conversation, so I want to make sure you're sharing your ideas. So go ahead, stop the making, and start talking about your work. Okay. So I'm the background, I'm outside, and I'm a person. Okay. So I'm I'm okay. Back up here, guys. Eyes up here. I see Tom is busy working on something else. Eyes up here, guys. <laughs> what are some of the things that you guys talked about regarding your artworks? Um, the backgrounds and the cutting out. And what about them? How well we did. Great. It's important, again, to start from the background and work your way forward. What else are you talking about regarding your artwork? The difficulties. What are some of the difficulties you're having? Okay, I thought you had a good start on yours already. But yeah, starting. Guys, collage is a difficult concept in and of itself. It's not like drawing a picture. You have to visualize stuff before and then try to figure out how to assemble it at the end. We still have five more minutes to work. Use this time wisely. Okay, go ahead and get back to it. So we've been working for a couple days now on this idea of collage. We're working with mixed media. What are some of the things that we've learned about and now you're starting to break rules regarding? It's not, it's up, thank you. Scale. Scale. Scale is one of those great things that collage really allows you to do. And I really think it encourages it because you're building these images from lots of different unrelated sources. So you can have a lot of fun with that. What are some other rules that you're, you learned, we spent a lot of time with, but now you're abandoning? Some of you are abandoning it totally, but some of you are actually using it in your sense of depth. That'll help you get there. What are you doing with your sidewalks? What's that? Perspective. Somebody in the back has got, we're looking down on a room. And instead of the walls being like this, we've flattened it out completely. So you're taking all these rules, rules of perspective, rules of scale. For you individually, what's been the hardest part? We've heard a couple people chime in. Let's hear from a couple other people who haven't chimed in yet. What are some of the hardest things you've been facing with this collage idea? You all have these challenges. What are some of the things they tell? I guarantee you. Thinking about things like how to work all your ideas together, but overall. Okay, so that whole concept idea, absolutely. Um, finding um, pictures like to make them fit and make it like perfect, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's something that you have to look for. She's looking for bridges, and she's struggling with finding a bridge to to bridge that gap, but then she's also coming up with other solutions for that. It doesn't have to be literal. Concept. We get this concept in our head, what we want the artwork to look like. It's never going to look like we want it to. We're also having some nice conversation. I've seen you guys have conversation. Why don't you try this? Why don't you try this? I've had some great conversation. Why don't we take this and instead of doing this with it, why don't you tip it upright and do something different with it? The use of frotage, grattage, decalcomania. You guys are changing the way you're thinking about this. This is a form of art that you can use in all your classes. Have a great night.